Hi everyone, here we are again. I'm going to start another cold wax and I thought I would show you how I prepare my panels. And I'm gonna put this one on a cradled panel. When I say cradled panel, I mean wood. So this is wood and it's been treated and it has sides on it uh, like a frame. What I have done is I have taken regular um, tape blue tape, blue painter's tape, and I have taped the edges. And these are, like I said, just like a wood uh, frame that goes all around the, uh, the panel itself. So I don't have to worry about framing it later. later. I cover the sides with blue tape because it's a very, very messy process and my fingers get full of oil and wax and everything that I'm using. And if I don't have a tape, I'm gonna mess up the sides. So that is the reason why you wanna tape up those sides really well, as I have done, press down really good. And I take the tape around to the back and I even protect it even further by putting wax paper on the back of the board itself. If not, when I go to pick up this piece my hands are going to be really dirty and i'm going to touch the inside and this back so i protect everything and then when i'm finished all i have to do is pull off the tape and i have a nice clean presentation and i can either um, paint the sides with cold wax i can paint the sides with acrylic i can uh, varnish the sides i can do just about anything i want to uh, so that is the reason for the duct tape and what I'm using is hopefully you can read this it's encaustic board and it's a 12 by 12 and it comes like this you can use encaustic board uh, by ampersand you can use clay board you can use gesso board uh, you can even use a uh, hard 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 board the hard board does not have the gesso on it the encaustic board gesso board and clay board have the gesso already on it so you don't really have to do anything to it the hard board which doesn't have any gesso or any coating on it you do need to gesso and this is a gesso with white and of course again it's an encaustic board I think you can I don't know if that's backwards or not, but that's that's what I'm uh, that's what I'm using. And you can buy uh, panels that aren't uh, gessoed from other brands as well. And this just happens to be an ampersand panel, which I really like, and it's called a cradled pa panel. Uh, if you didn't have the sides on it, it would just be called a panel. So. That's that. Now what I'm going to do is I, I, I want to add some texture to this gesso. So and I like to use colored gesso um, on my pieces and what I'm using is uh, Matisse. Matisse makes a background um, paint and it's really their colored gesso. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's probably backwards. I don't know. But um, it comes in many, many different colors. There's like 20 different colors. And I get this from uh, Jerry's Artorama. And a lot of times I'll gesso my panels even though I don't want to put texture on it because I like to have a colored background. Because with my um, style of painting, especially in cold wax, I do a lot of gouging and digging and scraping into. And I don't want it to go back to white. I want it to go back to a color. So that's the reason why I'm using color. And it's kind of stinky, but it's just like regular gesso, as you can see. Now I am just going to paint this on rather thickly. And I'm gonna use a lot of lumps and bumps because I, I want the texture. I'm not gonna sand it. If you want a real smooth surface, you can sand it after it's dry. But I'm not gonna do that because I want texture. You can see it's rather thick, just like gesso. You can thin it down a little bit with water if you wanted, but 
and this is this uh, jar is fairly old so it might be a little bit thicker than normal now I have this is not paint again this is gesso and there's other companies that makes uh, a colored gesso. I know Holbein does as well. Uh, so now I'm just gonna add some bumps to it. has some texture to it and if you wanted to you could draw into that you know with the skewer or the end of a, a brush like so you could draw into it but at this point in time I don't want to do that I'm just going to now I'm gonna let this dry until tomorrow and then we are going to start another painting smooth that down just a little bit I'm going to call that done. I have more of the texture down at this end. I'm going to let it dry. Okie doke. I'll see you next time. Have a good day. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.